you were just giggling over the risotto with our suspect. Which was to die for, by the way. What? What, what? There's a picture of you in the paper. So, are you the detective girlfriend? I'm sorry, the what? He is such a catch. Don't. Show me. Now. Romantically involved? Rumored to be. What did you tell them? Nothing. Why would I do that? Do you have any idea what this does to my reputation? Your reputation? What about my reputation? I am just as upset as you are. I'm on your team. This is shard journalism, and I am two seconds away from canceling my subscription. My subscription. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be a female cop? The last thing I need is for you to give them more ammo to... Yes, the New York Ledger, please. What are you doing? Langford said that the only person who knew she was on vacation was her mother, but that's not true. If she was actually pretending to be sick, the last thing she'd want is newspapers piling up at her front door. She had the papers held. Yes, your subscription department, please. Anyone with access to vacation hold information would know exactly who's out of town and for exactly how long. Yes, I would like to verify vacation hold information on two of your subscribers, please. Who am I? I... I... I sometimes forget I'm not actually a cop. I don't. Hi, this is Detective Kate Beckett with the NYPD. I'd like to speak with your supervisor, please. Where'd you get this? Scarlet Price. You saw her without me? Oh, well... Yes. She's a person of interest in our investigation, our murder investigation. No, I know. Where'd you see her? Uh, my apartment. What? When I came home last night, she was in my hall, and somebody had beaten her up. And you didn't think to call me? Well, I took her to the hospital, and then I kind of got her away from me, and then I came here. You don't want to surprise you like, like I do. You're not done talking about this. Oh, this is Pete? No. But if you keep talking, I'll put you in one of these. Hey, guys. Looking for something special? Yeah. No. Just getting started, huh? Yeah, we get a lot of first-timers. Well, haven't you ever wanted to do something with your handcuffs other than arrest criminals? No. But there is one hot, wild, kinky thing that I do like doing. <laughs> Putting killers behind bars. See? You're already a tease. You're halfway there. Hey. We just kissed. That's all that happened. That's all that happened for now. Hey, the furniture. Everything okay? Yeah. No. Okay. So who's your friend at the paper? Oh, Donna Vincennes? Mm -hmm. She's the one who wrote the blurb about us. There is no us. I know that. Did you tell her that? Yes, I did. Which worked up actually really well for me. As it turns out, most eligible bachelorette numero tres, very interested in meeting me. Once the infotainers get a hold of her with me, they're gonna forget all about you and I. I can just see the headlines now. Nine meets three at dinner for two. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a lot of women in this town who like the idea of being romantically linked to me. to Lady Irina's House of Pain. How can I serve you? Well, answer her! You see what I have to deal with? My boyfriend Ricky has an appointment at 4 p.m. with Mistress Venom. Will you be joining him? Oh, yes. I've been dying to watch him squirm. Mistress Venom would be delighted to have an audience. Follow me, please. Do you think we could gag him? Remember, my safe word is apples. Madison and I weren't halfway through our tasting menus when you stomped in there like the fun police. But part of her being a suspect in a murder investigation, do you not get? The waiter was about to come out with the duck confit en croup, Rocco de Spiritus pumpkin gnocchi, not to mention the langoustine, the lavender creme brulee that was coming up, and don't even get me started on the wine pairing. I won't. I'm just saying, you could have been more civilized and allowed us to finish our meal. Uh-uh. You can watch from the observation room. And now... And now you're benching me? You were just giggling over the risotto with our suspect. Which was to die for, by the way. Are you jealous?
I'm not jealous. I'm just embarrassed the way that you act like a 10-year-old all impressed by her data matrix. Oh, it collates information so quickly, Agent Shaw. Tell me all about it. You are ridiculous. Oh, and then to top it off, you are now building theory with her. So? So you're supposed to be building theory with me. You're supposed to be on my team. Well, I thought we were all on the same team. We are. It's just, I think that if you have an insight, you should run it by me first. Fine, I will. No, drink your wine. The way I look at it now, if it wasn't for Nikki Heat, this guy would have just gone on killing because he wouldn't have met anyone smart enough to catch him. I'm speaking, of course, about Special Agent Shaw. Night, Castle. Good night. Oh. What? That's where she was throwing herself at you. She wanted you to recommend her for the part. What? Oh, for the record, she's nothing like Nikki Heat. Oh, you just can't stand it that a beautiful actress is actually interested in me. Why would I care? Exactly. That's a good question. Why would you care? I don't. Fine. I'm going to go get some coffee. Fine. I've got work to do. Break right, rooms that way. Desk. You look good. You look good, too. Yeah? For murder. Why are you so mad at me? Maybe because you were found standing over a dead body with a gun in your hand. Yeah, but I told you she was dead when I got there. Why didn't you call? I was going to call you. But then you showed up before I could. Really? Well, then why did we find you in our victim's apartment? Well, because she called me. Oh, so you and Miss Santori were in a relationship. Well, I wouldn't say it was a relationship. I bought a couple of sculptures for Were you sleeping with her? How is that relevant? Motive. Ah. Uh, no, I wasn't sleeping with her. Are you sure? Beautiful woman. I'm in a relationship. With whom? Is that a new lipstick? Castle. You know with whom. How should I know? I haven't seen you in months. You could have been in dozens of relationships with women since then. You sound jealous. Jealous of you dating your second ex-wife and publisher. Tell me, does she make you do everything on a deadline? So how about you? You still with that uh, cop boyfriend of yours? What was his name again? Deming? You broke up? This victim that called you, what was it about? She said she was in trouble and she couldn't go to the police. So why did she call you? Because Maya knew I had a relationship with you, with the NYPD, she thought I could help. I can explain. Turn around. Oh, would you just listen to me, please? Why? You don't listen to me. Look, I'm just doing some digging around on my own. This is not a crime, is it? No, but criminal trespassing is, and so is murder. I was just trying to help. I don't need your help. How did you get here, anyway? I was following up a lead, same as you. Oh, really? So you subpoenaed the victim's phone records and looked for commonalities? No, not exactly. Then what? Ah, okay, I start 6 night. I start 6 night. You star 69? Yes, on Maya's phone. I figured it would give me her last call. Rang up McCutcheon here. I got his name from his voicemail. And then I did a web search. Tell me you're not impressed. You went to an active crime scene without authorization. Uh, yeah. But I wore gloves. You ever stop and think maybe I was waiting here from you? Do you know what these bodies are? A sign. A sign? A sign. A sign from the universe telling us we need to solve this case together. You don't want to let the universe down, do you? You're not going to go away no matter what I do, are you? I respect the universe. Hey, bad news. According to the banks, our victim's deposits were made in cash. There's no way to trace the payments. Love. You're a Taylor Swift fan? They're for Alexis. Oh. It cost me an arm and a leg, but Alexis will be thrilled. Apparently she and Ash have a song. Yeah, well, we have a song as well. We do? Mm-hmm. You Talk Too Much by Clarence Carter. Hey. Oh, 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 wait. That's it? I mean, no pomp, no circumstance? What's on this? Could shake the very foundations of our existence. We need to pause and savor. Please, let's just stick it in and get this over with. Apparently her dissertation compares the overt expressions of dominance in the dungeon to more subtle expressions in real world relationships. Like who drives? Hey, I would drive if you would let me. I, that actually didn't prove my point like I thought it would. What? You watched Temptation Lane.
What? No. <laughs> no one said anything about Marguerite's cancer scare. You know a lot about shippers. You know about fox cans. You are a fan, a big fat Temptation Lane fan. Okay, maybe I watched it like once or twice. <laughs> It's just so delightfully not you. So says the guy who rattles off plot points from General Hospital. Oh, that is completely different. That is for research. What was for research? Nothing. Nothing. What? What are you doing here? Arresting you for theft. And murder. Wait, so now you're telling me that you don't believe she's in on this? Why would she tell me she's a thief? Why offer that up? Because she's feeding you just enough truth so that swallowing the lies is easier. I don't think she's behind this. Yeah, well, you're thinking with the wrong body part. It was only a kiss. I was doing what you told me to, keeping her occupied. I was trying to give you enough time so that you could search her room. Yes, the room. The room where we found the suitcase and the email, which all stands as evidence against her right now. I just think we should give her a chance to explain. We? No, there is no way we're going in on the interrogation together. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, Cassie. Well, but right now, based on this conversation and your behavior in that hotel, it is obvious that you have been compromised. I was only doing... But you last. I thought I'd sit this one out. Get up yet, stay in bed. Castle. Kate. Hi. Castle. What? Did you do this? What? Stop saying what and wake up. I don't. We're handcuffed. It's kinky. Castle, it's not funny. I didn't say funny, I said kinky, and I didn't cuff us. You, you think I cuffed us? Well, they look like police cuffs. Somebody else did this to us. <laughs> Do you recognize this place? No. But if I were writing a book, this is where bad things would happen. My watch is missing. Mine, too. And my wallet. So it's my badge and my gun. And my phone. I just renewed my contract. Would you stop joking? Hey, do I begrudge you your coping mechanisms? Yeah, come on. Are you always like this in the morning? <sighs> Castle, would you just work with me? How about you work with me? How come you always have to lead? How come you always have to step on my toes? Since when do I... Okay, you know what? Tell me this. Why do you always have to be first? First out of the elevator, first through the door. Um, I am a cop. I'm the one with a gun. Being first through the door is my job. In the elevator? Look, how about this? Would it kill you to let someone open the door for you once in a while? You do realize if somebody opens the door for me, then I will be going through it first anyway, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You have to be the smartest, too. Everything's a competition with you. That is so not true. Are you always like this in the mornings? You know, I'd argue with you, but then I'd have to let you win. Okay, fine. Go ahead. You lead. Thank you. Where did you want to go? Don't think that this means that you won the bet. All we know is that they are connected. We still don't know how. I missed you too.